Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing another mini Sephora haul. I know I just did one not too long ago, but Sephora had another sale. It was their memorial sale, which I was not expecting at all. And I saw some products that I wanted to try out. I do have like a bunch of lip products, so I'm gonna be trying them on in this video. But before we get started, if you're new here, welcome, my name is Sylvia. Thank you so much for being here. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Okay, so the first product is the 24-hour liquid liner by Smashbox. So the regular price of this eyeliner is $22 and it was on sale and I got it for $11. That's like 50% off. To me, that's a really, really good deal. I've been wanting to try out a new cruelty-free eyeliner. The one that I currently use is the Tarte Double Take Eyeliner. I really like it, but I've been having that one for a while, so I feel like it's not performing that well anymore it's still performing pretty good but I feel like it's I need a new one so I went ahead and, and purchased this one to try it out um, so this is an ergonomic liquid eyeliner pen that gives you total control and ultimate precision waterproof formula lasts up to 24 hours super fine easy to control tip it says that this product is cruelty free vegan and formulated without parabens platelet gluten fragrance and talk and it is an allure best of beauty award winner so that's another reason why I ended up purchasing the eyeliner. Oh my god, I like this packaging so much. Wow. It looks... Oh shit. This packaging looks very, very cool. I just like how it feels. This is the tip of the eyeliner. It looks very, very sharp. I feel like it's easier for me to create a wing with pen eyeliners. Okay, so it does feel a little flexible, so that's really good. Kind of wish it was a little darker, but I'm gonna try it out. All right, so moving on, the next product is this Cover FX Shimmer Veil. So the regular price of these are $28, and I got it for $14. So basically what this is, it's a multi-dimensional shimmer and a weightless cream texture for a high impact finish on eyes, lips, and beyond. So I didn't know you can use these on your lips and other areas. I thought you you could just use them on your eyes. Um, so I got the shade Celestial. I like the packaging, it's nice. I'm gonna swatch it right here. That is so pretty. So it's like a very champagne pearl color that I purchased. Can be used as an eyeshadow or a highlighter. And this product is also clean at Sephora. This is really, really nice and it already dried down and it's like not moving at all and it's like blinding so I'm gonna put this on my eyes right now I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna apply it like right in the middle to give like that pop of shimmer right in the middle of my, of my eyelid and I like that it comes with like a little doe foot and it's like easy to apply it gives like a little pop of shimmer right like on your eyeshadow and you can just blend it out with your finger I'm going to apply a little bit on the inner corner. That is so pretty for the inner corner. I like that it's not super liquidy. It's kind of easy to work with and it's not messy. So I like that. My brow bone. Just... That is so easy. Okay, and it says that you can use this as a highlighter too. So I'm going to put it on the back of my hand first. I'm going to use my finger and kind of just tap it on the back and just apply like right at the like right at the top of my it definitely dries down really really fast so you definitely have to like work fast to like blend it out but as you guys can see like it looks really blinding like it really really gives like a really bright highlight it does look a little glittery if you put it on your skin i wouldn't put this like all over my cheek because it's gonna accentuate my texture so basically just like at the very top of my cheekbones if i want like that like super blinding like pop of highlight but I do like that it's like versatile you can use it on your face your eyes and it says you can use it on your lips too so I might try it out later once I already have lipstick on my lips really really love it for the inner corner highlight definitely would be using this a lot for that these remind me of like the Stila glitter 
eyeshadows but they're not as glittery as the Stila ones so sometimes I feel like the Stila ones I love them to like apply on my eyelid but sometimes I don't like using those on the inner corner of my eyes because I feel like it's too glittery it's kind of chunky and in the inner corner I'm like afraid that it's gonna get inside my eye or I just feel like it doesn't really have like pigmentation like it's just straight up glitter like in the inner corner of my eyes this is like actually like perfect because it's more of like a very shimmery almost metallic but you can definitely see the glitters particles like glitter in there as well but it's not like that chunky glitter so this is really really good I like it okay so moving on I did order two different lip liners by bite beauty so I've been wanting to try out more of bite beauty products so the lip liners are regular $18 and I got them for $9 I am gonna link all these products in the description box below so I got two different shades in shade 068 so this is it says that it's like a fresh peach also and then the other shade that I got is more like a pink one in the shade 004 so let me open these up these are also clean at Sephora. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch 004 on the back of my hand. That is very pigmented. I wasn't expecting that. It does feel very creamy. 068. So those are the two shades right there. One is darker than the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and try both of them on, fill in my lips. These are definitely very pigmented. Don't think I like this shade. I feel like it's a little too of a light pink. It's too much of a like baby pink. I'm gonna take this one off and try on the other one. Okay, so I'm gonna try this one on now. This one is 068. Okay, so this is a, definitely a very bright, it looks coral to me, it doesn't really look that peach. But I feel like this color is really, really good for like the summer and it's definitely very bright. So I would definitely just wear it for like the summer. I don't think I would wear it like any other time. Yeah, this is 068 and this one I do like it more than the pink one. Probably apply some like lip gloss on top of this one. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one off so this is a lipstick from bite beauty and I wanted to try this one out as well and this is the amuse bouche liquefied lipstick with with resveratrol I don't know how to say that word but it says that it's made with natural and organic ingredients so the regular price is $24 and I got it for $12 um, I think that these are still on sale for $12 these are also clean at Sephora so it says on the label right here 96% natural and the shade that I got is called Hikama. The packaging is really, really nice. You can see the shade right here. It actually smells really, really good. It kind of smells minty. It's just a really pretty, like, terracotta. Like, it's just a really, really pretty shade. And it definitely does have, like, a satin finish. Ooh, feels really good. And hydrating. So I did not apply lip liner this time. I like that the applicator is like kind of pointy so it kind of makes it easy it feels really nice on my lips like really nice and it is definitely pigmented so I feel like I do need some lip liner but this is how it looks with no lip liner and it's a really 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 pretty shade I feel like it does go really good with my skin tone right now because I am a little tan um, I could also dab this like on my lips just to give a little bit of color to my lips as well I feel like if I tap it with my fingers it gives more of like a natural finish now that I have the lipstick on, I'm gonna apply some of the the Cover FX Shimmer Veal like right in the middle to see how it works. Alright, so there you go. It definitely does work with just applying it on the lips and blending it out with the finger. And I feel like it just gives like a little bit of like pout in the middle of the lips. Yeah, I think it looks good. Alright, and then I went ahead and got the Becca Skin Love Brightening and Blur Primer with my points. Infused with Glow Nectar Brightening Hydra Complex. So it says this is a skin smoothing primer that instantly blurs and hydrates the skin. An optical blurring blend diffuses the look of pores, leaving skin looking and feeling silky smooth and perfectly prepped for flawless makeup application. The Silky Soft Formula is fueled by Skin Love Glow Nectar Brightening Hydra Complex 
Complex, a blend of ingredients that help brighten, hydrate, and nourish the skin. So I've never tried this primer. Um, if you have tried it, let me know in the comment section. Um, but I'm gonna just try it on the back of my hand to see how it looks and how it feels. It does feel cooling whenever I'm blending it out. And it does feel pretty thick. So like, kind of like thick enough to like fill in the pores. That's how it feels. It does leave like residue if I don't keep blending it out. But I feel like it has a little bit too much fragrance to be used as a primer. Not too crazy about that. Yeah, the fragrance is very, very strong. I don't think I like that. I don't think that I would be using this primer. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it. I think that the products that I really, really liked are like the Cover FX Shimmer Reel. I'm really excited to try out this eyeliner and the Amuse Bouche lipstick. Um, it just feels very, very nice on my lips and like hydrating. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't know. I feel like it just gave my lips hydration and they don't feel crusty anymore. It has like a really good formula. I like, like really like this lipstick a lot. The lip liners, I don't know. I wish that they had like other colors. I think I'm going to be returning the lip liners, but everything else, I do really like it. And yeah, the primer for from Becca is like really strong scent. I did not like that. So that is my mini Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I love you guys and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye! And more to buy them. Oh my god. Oh shit, I got it on my nose. <sighs> no.